right, good morning everybody. Ryan back with you here again down in beautiful downtown Cleveland in the uh, Chinatown, Asia Town area here. And uh, probably just executed one of the more challenging um, back end maneuvers you'll ever do in this business. And uh, that'd be an alley dock off the street, which uh, not a lot of room here. And into that little hole there. You got about two feet or so on each side of you and I'm gonna tell you the secret to doing a maneuver like this is your tandems so there's this misconception out here I don't know if it's the driving schools or uh, companies that are training all that that having your tandems all the way forward is the best way to back in somewhere and, and when you're going through a town or something and there's a lot of curves tight streets that's true you want to have your tandems up as far as possible because you're going to be able to go around sharper curves and all that but when you're trying to maneuver in a tight area you want to have those tandems all the way to the rear as far back as you can get them because that's going to give you wherever those wheels are going that's where the back of that trailer is going so if you try to do a back in into this with your tandems all the way forward um, the only thing you're going to do is hit this wall repeatedly most likely so I put this in here, I had to do, I wish I had brought my wife with me this morning. We don't live too far, we're only 45 minutes from the house up here, so I just brought this load up. Uh, I got this out of, down on the Indiana, Ohio line, just kind of a little fill in, I had time, hadn't, I've only been out for a week and a half. So I figured, what the heck, this paid a thousand dollars on the gross side. So I, I grabbed this up, just empty chemical totes. But uh, what, like I said, the first thing you wanna do when you're trying to back into something like this is, you're gonna to wanna to start out on this left side of the street here. Slide the tandems all the way to the rear. And when you're backing up, uh, like I said, I wish I had my wife. She would she could, could, yeah, could have came up with me this morning and uh, kind of videotaped me going in. But you're gonna to have to come in here, keep it as tight as you can, then right when the back of that trailer, you're gonna to have to jackknife this thing in there. And you can actually, the back. You can kind of see my tracks right there. Where I brought, I brought the back of that trailer right here and then did a complete jackknife with the truck. Brought it around to where the trailer, the truck was, the truck and trailer is almost straight when I hit, when I got to the back of that, the front of that door right there. Um, but my, my truck's pretty long. I'm 73 feet total. So I was right up against that fence. I mean, I was, I was about six inches away from it. So I had to use every bit of space there was. To finally cut it around um, got it in I was a little off um, I had to use I had to pull up once or uh, twice. I had to pull up a little bit up there to get it kind of straight and once I got halfway in I pulled up got it straight put it right back in so thankfully there wasn't a bunch of traffic down here but uh, I said so I just wanted to I said you don't you don't you don't do these a lot uh, I don't I don't come down especially you know in the east you'll probably see them more often usually where I run in the west everything's more wide open but we are uh, so we're right downtown. Right, there's the key bank building back there in the back. Downtown there, if you can see it. So, but yeah, pretty pretty tight. Uh, so there's there's barely enough room for me to even get straight. Even if my back of my my truck is at the door there, I mean I'm there's just not that much room here. And then to boot, they got a big like an island at the back of these docks that I didn't see till I got about halfway down there. So it'd be, uh, you gotta watch out for things like that when you're backing down into these. A uh, good way to tear a door off the trailer here. Yeah, it's actually like a little So as you see, I said the tandem's all the way to the rear. And that, that's the only way to do tight, maneuver, tight back ends like this. Uh, like I said, if you got your tandems all the way up, and you got 10 or 12 feet of trailer swinging around. They said you're 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 going to have problems. You're going to be hitting that wall, as you can see. A lot of guys have. So. And you definitely see there's been there's been a little rubbing here. <laughs> Again, I said pretty pretty tight fit. Once you get back in there about six inches, the foot 
on each side. So I just thought I'd share that with y'all because uh, I don't do, do these types a lot. So it was a little workout. This is pretty, like I said, I showed up here. There's two other guys waiting in front of me, and I was like, yeah, it looks pretty tight back there. <laughs> but, uh, so again, uh, said give us hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, like I said this this little thing out there was what we're up to this morning. I thought I'd share that with y'all. But uh, said have fun out there. Be safe. Uh, again, uh, hit the thumbs up, hit the bell for the updates, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see y'all next time.